All right. Welcome, everybody. It's Gear Out here. Welcome to, well, you guessed it, the PS5 unboxing. Guys, I was so excited today, this morning. Uh, today's the 12th of November, PS5 launch day. I was so excited and uh, went out, picked it up. Uh, I couldn't decide between games. So here you can see I picked two different games. I ended up going with Valhalla, something that uh, I honestly didn't want to do. But the sales guy kind of talked me into it, and I'm here's how I'm going into it. I'm going into it not thinking it's an Assassin's Creed game, and that's where I think it'll actually be a good game. Uh, I think that Ubisoft has changed the formula of this game so much that it no longer holds its roots, and they really should never have kept the Assassin's Creed logo on it. Uh, they just did that to sell copies as far as I'm concerned. If they had named it completely something different, yes, it would be a little bit of a risk, but the fact that that name is attached to the game uh, mitigates that risk significantly. Regardless, though, I'm going to go into it thinking it's just a, a, an open-world type questing RPG game, and I think that will convince me while I'm playing it that I'll like it. We'll see, but you, didn't got, you guys didn't come here for the games. Yes, so these are the games right there. Those are them, Valhalla, and I did get Demon Souls. Demon Souls is something that I plan to play. Um, probably not right away. I'll probably jump into this first because I hear this is a huge game, and uh, I really want to see what this puppy can do. All right, guys, you came here for an unboxing, so let's put the games away. Actually, toss them onto the side there. And there is the PS5 box. Now, this thing is massive, I swear, man. I, uh, two days ago, I picked up the Xbox Series X. Now, the Xbox Series X isn't something that I got from me. It was an early Christmas gift for my brother, so I gave it to him. He's already set it up. He's already been playing some PUBG on it. And that machine is, that box is a big box too. Don't get me wrong, but that machine, once out, is probably about that tall and, and yay big. It, it's, it's really not a large unit. This thing looks like it's gonna be freaking massive when I pull it out, I can't wait. Uh, that, no, the PS5, I'm talking about the PS5 pulling it out. Okay, so here's the box, PlayStation 5, um, and it shows the front view of the device as well as the uh, controller. I'm interested in, I, I guess it must be that big that they couldn't keep the whole thing in the picture. Like, they had to cut it off. Like, that's, that's how huge this thing is. <laughs> uh, let's look around the box. So here is one of the sides. It does show you the logo, the controller, and the unit itself. And then here's the back side of it. And on the back side, you can see that there's a bunch of different things. I'm going to come to the side. Oh, that's out of frame. Uh, uh, can I stand right there? Yeah, I can stand right there. So we can see play like never before. And then in French... We do live in Canada, so all packaging has to be bilingual. That's what I used to do. Um, uh, lightning speed, uh, oh, there's the French side. Breathtaking immersion and stunning games. And it shows the unit on its side this time. You can see it there and it shows the controller next to it as well. And there is a, you probably have seen videos already of the mechanism. There's a foot that you can put when it's standing vertically and then you can also remove that foot place the device horizontally, and then put the, the foot on to hold it. Uh, and then we have the final side of the package, which just says the logo prominently, and that's about it. <laughs> there is the top, which has a handle, as you can see. Uh, mind you, when I took it out of the store, I did not use the handle. I used the um, <laughs> plastic bag that they put it in. I was surprised, number one, they had a bag big enough. Number two, a bag strong enough to hold this weight. Walking from the store to the parking lot was a good distance, and I had to shift from one arm to the other a few times. Um, and then there's the bottom of the box. The bottom of the box is the usual legal stuff. Uh, I have it upside down. Shows the actual UPC thread, or the actual serial of the device. And then Dolby, DTS, HDMI, blah, 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 blah. Oh, and by the way, for those of you watching who may not know, the HDMI cable inside this inside this box is a specific cable to transfer um, a high speed or, or high resolution, uh, high refresh rate. So you need to use that cable with the PS5, especially if you're pl plugging it into a TV that does like 4K 60 or 4K 120. You'd never ever want to switch this HDMI cable out with something, some other cable that you might have lying around the house. Then you won't get the full potential of the unit and what it can display on screen. With that said, so make sure, and uh, 
little tip, the Xbox Series X is exactly the same. It has a specific HDMI cable that you want to keep and you want to continue to use with that device. You can't switch it out. I mean, you could if you had the right kind of cable that uh, met the specifications, but I wouldn't chance it. All right, got myself a little blade here. We are going to cut this thing open for the very first time. Tilt that over so you guys can see the seal. There it is. I want to see if I can see it myself. There we go. And there we go. So I just broke the seal and it's opening. Oh yeah. Okay, let me put the knife away before I cut myself. Watch there be other things to cut. Now, every time I've seen an unboxing video online, you actually see people open it up and stuff just drops out. I expect that to happen. Okay. Oh, it just slides out. Okay. That's not how I saw it on... Is the packaging between Canada and the U.S. different? There's the sheath or the... Sh it's just a, an empty sleeve. Just an empty sleeve. Look at that. Okay. Put that aside. <laughs> and uh, pop this open. I got to be mindful which camera. I have two cameras set up, which is actually pretty cool. First time I've ever done this. Uh, this camera over here, guys, is in 4K. And this camera over here is just below 1080p. So you might notice a difference in the quality. But I am going to edit and post this in 4K so you guys with 4K screens get the best benefit out of it, okay? Yeah! <laughs> All right. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, now it's all gonna fall out. Yep, there we go. So we have a power cord. Hello, yeah, hi. Power cord? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nothing special. It is a power cord that has the kind of, you know, figure eight connector to the back of the device. I wonder how close I can get. Yeah. And then your wall socket. And then we have the actual controller. Nothing fell out just now, right? No. This is the actual PS, PS5 dual sense controller. My first time holding one. Ooh, wow. Oh. Look at that. Oh, okay. I'm bending over for one camera. There we go. Look at that. There. Wonder if I can get it even closer in 4K. Yeah. So I'm holding it for the very first time. It feels good. It almost tricks your brain into feeling like it's a rubbery. Even even the uh, the buttons almost feel rubbery, but it's not. You could tell it's hard plastic. Oh wow, those buttons are nice and silent. Joystick. I was worried about how these buttons on the, the front would feel, how the face buttons, so the directional pad as well as the, um, the uh, square, triangle, circle, and cross buttons would feel. And uh, just for those of you out there who want to know, it's not an X, it's a cross. <laughs> Uh, I learned that from, uh, who the hell was it? Uh, the guys from Kind of Funny. They told me because, uh, what's his name? Miller, Greg Miller, had an actual interview with one of the guys who uh, did, a, a, not a PS5, but I think it was on the PS4 uh, time. So there's also, you can actually see the PS button at the bottom right there, and then there's a mute button for the audio, or the audio of the microphone, so you can actually choose with a physical button. Uh, if you want the controller to be listening in on you or not. A lot of people are not a fan of that. I don't care. I just want to see what what it offers in terms of gameplay, what it adds to the whole the whole system. So that is the DualSense controller with a USB uh, 3 or USB 3. I said, uh, it's a USB-C uh, uh, port for charging. Wow, I like that chisel at the bottom of the controller. It's kind of different that little chisel right there and right there that's cool I like that oh it feels really comfy now I'm one of the weird guys out there that preferred the PS4 controller to the Xbox the Xbox don't get me wrong it's a fabulous controller I absolutely love it but the PS4 controller to me was a better controller because it was more balanced it had weight it had substance 
this still feels that way. Um, I'm going to have to compare how it feels to the Xbox Series X controller, but I'll do that later on my own time. So let me put this aside. All right. Now, let's not waste any time. There's a power cord. Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> let's not waste any time, and let's actually open and get the PlayStation out of here. Ooh, look, look, documentation, paperwork on the ground. Who reads that? Yeah, this is definitely different from the packaging in the U.S. Every unboxing I've seen is totally different. There's the foot. You do not open. You do open. There's the foot right there. That holds it either in a vertical position, so this guy's going to move around. I'll have to figure out how to do that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's for vertical. No, that's for sideways, I think. We'll see. We'll figure it out. So there's the, the bottom, and it rotates and shifts depending on if you want to put it vertically or horizontally. I'm going to keep this one close. I'm going to put it over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's the high-speed HDMI cable that I was talking about. So it is a specific cable for the PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation 5, so that you can get that 4K 60 or 4K 120 hertz on uh, a TV that supports it. Okay, let's get on to the meat. Come on. Oh, what is this? Ah, uh, no one ever really showed this. This is the charge cable. So it's just a regular USB-A type connector to a USB-C type connector. So this will be your cable to sync and charge your controller to the unit, to the console itself. Oh. Does this come out? This comes out. Oh, it was a small box. That I could have pulled the small box out. Oh no, so it is the same. Look at that. So there's the uh, empty, oh at least that's nice, they put the PlayStation logo on there. That's pretty cool. That, that, they went through, they went through the trouble of die cutting this, I used to do this stuff so I know, die cutting this, printing a one color print on it, and then varnishing it as well, because it's got varnish, so two color job. Insane, wait, hey, and they have instructions on one of the flaps, right there. Pretty neat. Don't fall and break. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. This thing's good. This thing's huge. Oh yeah, wait. Oh, that's uh, that's a bit of heft. I think it's a tad bit heavier than, or to my feel, I think it's a tad bit heavier than the Series X, Xbox Series X. But we're gonna take the nice protective foam off right now. And there it is. This side that you're seeing doesn't have a PS logo. This side does. Look at that. This is so cool in person. Oh my god, there's the front view and you can see I got the one with the CD slot. Absolutely wanted it. I have a huge collection as you can see and I want to be able to use uh, discs. I'm, I'm not against digital. I like digital. Half my library is digital. Steam probably is just as many games as this. But I've always loved the fact that I can take a game, physically hold it, see it, look at it, put it into a shelf. It's, it's always just been this thing. It's kind of like collecting books, you know? Only a longer, longer, much longer and more fun. Well, not necessarily more fun. I mean, they're different medias, but uh, a different type of, of enjoyment. Uh, the one thing I didn't talk about, which everyone else points out, is the micro uh, symbols that are on the controller. I did feel it. It's, it gives you a little bit of a grip, and I can see that same thing on the inside here. Uh, many, many other people who have done unboxing have pointed that out and tried to get a shot of it. It's t I don't have the right equipment to get a good shot of it, so I'm not going to bother trying. However, I can describe it. That felt pretty cool. It actually felt like it was more grip. Um, 
you can feel it, but it feels like a texture rather than a symbol. And here I can feel it too as I rub my finger on it, right along the inside edge, and on this side as well. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice little touch. Uh, so what you're looking at right here is the front of the console. We can see the optical drive slot. And then uh, at the bottom we have two buttons. One is smaller than the other. I think one of them is for powering on the device. The other one is for ejecting the CD or the disc that's inside. Then we have a USB-C port. That's the port we're gonna be using to charge up the controller. Um, I'll probably end up playing it wired the whole time because that's how I play my PS4 because I have it in in my whole setup for uh, streaming streaming and capturing for YouTube so here we see a USB A type connector which is the full size there you I guess you could connect a drive actually the cable they gave was USB A so it's going to go in there so USB C on the front would be probably for some sort of external storage or something but on the back they also have I don't know if you can see it. They also have uh, USB-A, two USB-A uh, blue, which are uh, 3.0 or higher, I think 3.1 or something like that, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Ethernet, so there's your LAN cable connector. And then we have HDMI out, so that's gonna send the signal to your TV, or if you have a gaming monitor like me, to a gaming monitor. And then you got your power plug itself. And the unit, that's one side of it. And that's the other side of it. There's the top. You can see that difference in thinness all the way to the thickness. And then if I go to the other side, it gets thick again. Look at that. That's pretty neat. And then thin again. That is cool. I, I really like this design. From the moment I saw it when they presented it for the first time, I was like, wow, that thing looks awesome. It's way out there, yes. It's not conservative in a design aspect in any way. But uh, it is definitely something that will stick out, especially if you have it out in the living room and somebody walks in, when they see it, there's no mistaking it. They're gonna be like, that is a PS5, you know? Uh, but this is my console. I'm super happy uh, that I got it. I can't wait to plug it in, try it out, and see how it plays, uh, see how it works, get used to the interface. This thing is heavy. I'm not gonna bother putting it on the foot. I mean, I'm gonna put it on the foot for myself. I'm gonna probably play it vertically. That's my plan, uh, specifically because of the amount of space that I have. It fits better in there like that. But I'm not gonna bother putting the foot on in this unboxing. You've seen that over and over again. But uh, that's it, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you like this video, if this unboxing video is something you really like, just hit the like button so that I know. And that way, I'll know if it makes sense for me to make any more of these type videos. First time doing a dual cam setup, wow. All right guys, take it easy and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.